hoping you have had a tantalizing week. Welcome to another edition of Metropole Sports Centre. My name is Nashon Oano. Time for us to catch up with what has been happening in the world of sports. Ahead on the show today, the following are some of the things that you're going to be looking at. You're going to be talking about the much anticipated rally, safari rally, that has been the topic of conversation the past few weeks. Apart from that, you're going to be talking about the Kenya Premier League and you're going to be shedding spotlight into some of the games that were played in the course of the week. Also, we are going to be giving our two cents on who we think is going to win the Kenya Premier League. Away from that, we are going to be also shedding spotlight into the Euro competitions that is currently ongoing and the information or the draw for the games that are going to be played for the round of 16 have been officially released. So we are going to be talking about that later on in the show. Now, the first topic of conversation that is the official start of the safari rally that has been much anticipated by a lot of people for the past uh, couple of months there's been a lot of uh, meetings a lot of unveiling happening in the country ahead of the safari rally event that officially kicked off yesterday at the kenyatta international conference center and uh, the rally was officially uh, launched by president uhuru kenyatta and this is what he had to say during the launching event In 2013, I made a pledge to my fellow citizens that we would bring the safari rally back home. And I also promised that I would return the safari rally to its position as one of the International Automobile Federations and the World Rally Championship's toughest rallies. This goal has materialized nine years later into the event that we are witnessing today. It is a fact that Kenya's population, as well as its motorization, has been increasing over the years. And while these are positive changes, they have also come with an increase in road accidents as our citizens traver traverse the country. In 2019, for example, there were over 3,000 people who lost their lives through road carnage, with hundreds of others experiencing serious injuries. The groups that are most affected by these accidents are pedestrians, motorcyclists, who, beyond being just statistics, are parents, siblings, children, and citizens of our nation. Their misfortunes are often compounded by the heavy medical care bills, which in the long term negatively affect their financial health. One or two hiccups, and the first in case you missed it, at the backdrop of the unveiling of the Safari Rally, the drivers of the event got a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to participate in a shakedown event that was held on Wednesday. Part of the exercise that is the shakedown was entirely meant to give the drivers a feel of the roads that they are going to be driving on. Um, the following is just some of the results of the shakedown exercise that took place on Wednesday. Uh, that is the World Championship. Champion, that is Ogier Sebastian clocked uh, 3 minutes 54 uh, sec 3354.8 milliseconds. Katsusa Takamoto clocked in 3 minutes 54 seconds and 2 milliseconds. Greensmith Gas uh, clocked in 3 minutes uh, 54 seconds and 6 milliseconds. Neville the Theon Theory, I beg your pardon, clocked in 3 minutes 57 uh, seconds and 3 milliseconds. Sodo Dani uh, clocked in 3 minutes 48 seconds and 7 milliseconds. Ta Tanak Ot, uh, who's closely seen uh, Ot Tanak, um, who's closely seen as a tough competitor for world champion, that is Sebastian Auger, uh, clocked in at three minutes fifty-four seconds and four milliseconds. Rovan, Ve Rovan Pera Kales clocked in at three minutes fifty-four uh, seconds and five milliseconds. Evans Elfine clocked in three minutes fifty-four seconds and six milliseconds. Formax. Adrian from the Red Bull team clocked in 3 minutes uh, 54 seconds and 1 milliseconds. Batelli Lorenzo clocked in 9 minutes 22 seconds and 4 milliseconds. And Onka Rai clocked in 4 minutes 12, sec 
12 seconds and 6 milliseconds. Prokop Martin clocked in 4 minutes, 17 seconds and 9 milliseconds. And Rai Tejver clocked in 4 minutes, 22 seconds and 2 milliseconds. That is a former Safari Rally uh, champion, that is Carl Flash Tundo, clocked in 4 minutes, 27 seconds and 5 milliseconds. Uh, now that the competition has officially started, I beg your pardon, started. Uh, the first stage of the competition kicked off yesterday after the unveiling by President Uhuru Kenyatta and the following are just uh, some of the results of the first round of the competition. Now Sebastian Auger from France and uh, Julien Gracia from France driving a Toyota Rallys <laughs> Yaris, I beg your pardon, clocked in 3 minutes, uh, 21 seconds and 5 milliseconds. Kale Rovanpera, uh, navigated by John Haltunen, clocked in 3 minutes, 21 seconds and 8 milliseconds. Elfin Evans from Great Britain, uh, navigated by Scott Martin, clocked in 3 minutes, 22 seconds and 2 milliseconds. Uh, Ot Tanak uh, from Estonia, navigated by, by Martin Javioja, uh, clocked in 3 minutes, 24 seconds and 0 milliseconds. That is Theory Noville Bell and Martin Waidage. Right, Dougie driving a uh, Hyundai i20 coupe clocked in 3 minutes 26.5 milliseconds. Among some of uh, the rankings in that particular race, uh, people that I've already mentioned in the shakedown results was Takamoto Katsuta who clocked in 3 minutes 27 seconds and 1 milliseconds. now shifts to Naivasha or as it's popularly known at the moment as Vasha. My guest in uh, studio today uh, was just mentioning to him how he's on his way to Naivasha and uh, he's going to be talking to us about that. Some of the things that I expected in Naivasha was the uh, some of the roads are going to be closed closed to pave way for the competition. The following are just some of the roads that are going to be affected by the action that is going to be taking place this weekend in Naivasha. The Eldoret Nakuru Highway um, had to be closed today because of the safari rally. Um, the uh, Nyahururu Narok Highway is going to be affected largely by the competition tomorrow and then uh, drivers plying the Mombasa, Nairobi, Maimahi, Naivasha Highway need to be warned because the, load, the road, I beg your pardon, is going to be closed tomorrow. Those are some of the things that we wanted to mention about the Safari Rally. We are taking a short commercial break. After the break, I'm going to be joined by our resident analyst, that is Salim Waziri. Uh, we are going to be looking at the Kenya Premier League, and apart from that, we are going to be looking at the Euro 2020 competitions that are currently ongoing. See you after the break.